Hi, my name is Andrew. And my name is Matthew. And we're going to be talking about arrays, records, and file AO. So at the moment, we've got this game I've created where we have a snake. And we move it around by using the keyboard to collect fruit, making it larger. That's cool. Just wondering how you made it. Yep, so if we look at the code, right at the top of the file we create a record called snake data, which has an X position and a Y position. So basically this record is one of the body parts of the snake. Ah oh, yeah, okay. So snake data, data is a body piece? Yep, and then we have a snake array, which is an array of snake data. So if the array is four records long, then the snake will be four body parts long. So what we do when it eats a piece of fruit, we set the length of the current snake length plus one. Then we move the first body part, or the head, down one. And we pass this by var variable, which tells the procedure, here it is, you can edit this. So when the snake is constantly moving throughout the program, to give that dragging or trail effect, all we do is shift the body parts down one, making space for new positions to come about when the snake is moving. Oh, okay. So it's always shifting the body pieces position down to the last element. Yep. So when we draw the snake, all we do is pass snake data by constant reference. As the array is being looped back in main, we use a library called CTR that allows us to treat the terminal like a graphics window, calling go to xy, the snake's x position and y position, text color green, and write that block symbol, which represents one body piece. So as you can see, back here in main, we can alter the x and y position by using the arrow keys. We are assigning this to the first record, the head, and then this shifts back along the body. So if I press a button, it changes the first element's position of the array? Yep. So as you can see in main, which is looping, we shift the body, then we have this for loop that, like I mentioned earlier, loops through each element of the array and calls draw snake, passing the body part to draw the snake. And what happens if the snake eats itself or touches the wall? Yep. So what we do we check if the head, the first element of the array, by using this for loop, one to high, snake length, one being the next element in the array, not the first, as the first is the head, then seeing if any of those x positions and y positions match the snake's head. And the reason it's and, not or, is because we need both of those conditions to be true. If they are true, then the snake is dead and the same if the snake hits the walls. And if the snake is dead, the game finishes, prompting the user to play again. And there was this other thing that you wanted to know? How the game uses high score? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So what we do is we use something called file IO. So what we do, at the top of our code, when we create, we create a const file name. So, high score text. Then, before we jump into our game, down in main, we create a variable called high score file, which is a text file. Then what we do, we assign that file into memory, giving it two parameters. One, it's a text file, and two, where to find it, or what it's called. So, it grabs the file and, as if it was a basketball and puts it into play? Yep, so that allows us to edit it now, and do whatever we want with it since it's in memory. Then we ask the user what game they want to play. They pick the game Snake. We call main Snake and pass the high score file by variable so we can edit it. So after we play our game of Snake, let's say we score 18, we call reset high score file, which tells the computer to look at the top of the file starting at the top. And while the computer is at, isn't at the bottom, read the line reads high score file and stores it in current score. Let's say it's 15. If the current score, the score in the file, 15, 
is less than the score we made, 18, rewrite the file, which it is. It writes our score that we scored, which was 18, and then closes the file as we are done with editing it for now. So when we play our game next time, we call draw score, we pass it the current score that we are at in that point in time, and the file, the high score file. It grabs our score, which is an integer, and the text file, writes our score, which is the current length in the game at that time, which is 5, then does the same thing as before, resets the file, looks at the top of the file, and then while it isn't at the bottom of the file, it reads the lines and it prints 39. So yeah, that's how we use arrays, records and file IO to create some features in Snake. Thanks for listening.